Hello and welcome to Space Brief. China has started placing its new space station into orbit with the launch of the Tianhe module with a Long March 5B rocket. Let's do a recap on this massive habitat so we all understand what this means for the Chinese space program. The Tianhe, or Harmony of the Heavens. This will be a core module based on the Soviet Salyut and Almaz series of space station modules. These systems were used to build the Mir space station, and China plans to use these proven designs to construct its own space station. The core module provides power, propulsion, and life support for the station. It will have a habitable living quarter section, a non-habitable service section, and a docking hub. It will have a small robotic arm to maneuver cargo capsules. Power is provided by two steerable solar power arrays. More modules are added until you have a space station big enough to accomplish your goals. And now let's review the powerful rocket that put this into orbit. The Long March 5 and 5B are active and can get 25,000 kilograms into low Earth orbit, making it China's most powerful rocket to date. Let's take a close look at this one, as it is a departure from the basic hypergolic rockets that came before. The Long March 5 is a three-stage rocket with boosters. The first stage uses two YF-77 rocket engines burning liquid hydrogen and oxygen. The YF-77 is designed by the Academy of Aerospace Liquid Propulsion Technology, and it uses a gas generator, producing 700 kilonewtons at 10.2 megapascals of pressure, with an efficiency of 310 seconds at sea level and 430 seconds in vacuum. The second stage uses two YF-75D engines, also burning hydrogen, with a specific impulse of 442 seconds. Hydrogen is much more efficient than RP-1. The YF-75D is a third generation rocket engine and uses a closed expander cycle, meaning cold hydrogen is sent around the nozzle to cool it. Then the expanded hydrogen is used to power the turbine to pump more fuel and oxidizer into the engine. The third stage is called the Yongjing and uses two YF-50D pressure-fed restartable hypergolic engines running NTO and UDMH producing 6.5 kilonewtons of thrust. Being restartable allows this third stage to circularize in orbit. Variants of this third stage are used on the Long March 2, 3, 5, and 7 rockets. The Long March 5 uses four boosters, running RP-1 through two YF-100 engines. The YF-100 is an oxygen-rich stage combustion engine producing 1,200 kilonewtons at sea level with a specific impulse of 300 and 1,340 kilonewtons in vacuum with a specific impulse of 335 seconds. So we have a central core burning hydrogen with four RP-1 boosters around it. Look familiar? This is the same basic design of the much larger Energia rocket system. The Long March 5 put the Tianwen-1 on its way to Mars and sent the Chang'e 5 to the moon. That's been your space brief on the new Chinese space station. Thanks for listening and stay safe at Astro Proterra.